Hey guys, Alex here. And this video is all about hosting. Me and Becker always use uh, HostGator for all our main websites for hosting because they have really, really good support. Um, honestly, I never had any problems with their customer service or, I mean, I sometimes have problems with my websites, like uh, my website might get hacked or um, my WordPress database gets corrupt or something. And they're very quick at fixing the issues, which is really important once you get a lot of traffic because every minute or every hour that your website is down, well, you're actually not making money, which obviously really sucks and is a problem. So you first want to go to web hosting and here you have the choice of three plans the hatching plan, the baby plan, or the business plan. The hatching plan is if you only think you'll host one website. So, I mean, uh, you might as well just go for the baby plan, which is unlimited domains. So basically for a few more dollars a month, you can host as many websites as you want on the baby plan. And for those that are curious, the business plan is basically for people that want to do an e-commerce website. Um, the reason why you would want a business plan is because you would need you probably would need private SSL and an IP address because on an e-commerce website you kind of have to verify the, the trust of your website and all that stuff so um, yeah if you're thinking about e-commerce website you might want to consider a business plan but for most of us that are just trying to drive traffic to a website or a blog or whatever uh, the baby plan is perfect because basically once you paid for your f hosting it's done for it, it'll, it won't rise in cost basically unless you have a humongous amounts of traffic but by that point you'll be making thousands a month so it won't really matter so you go to order now okay so here either you can have host get a registered domain or you use an existing domain name I really like to separate um, my domain name registrar from the host which is one of the reasons why I use Namecheap the other being that Namecheap has really really good prices so I'm assuming that you uh, register your domain on Namecheap so I'll just put a uh, something like this my awesome website com and here you want to change a coupon code so currently HostGator kinda puts a default 20 percent off coupon so if you're only uh, paying every month so you have three choices in coupons uh, actually, I mean two. So you have Pass Income SEO, which you see right now on the screen, which gives you your first month off. So it's probably a good idea to get that one if you're only uh, going to pay month per month. But if you're paying for six months plus, then you want to do get 25 rebate, which will give you 25% off the entire order. So whatever you want to payment plan you want to use it's completely your choice I mean my first account I used the first month off because I wasn't too sure and then I bought a second HostGator account a few months ago and since I know they're so reliable I just took them on a six month plan so for that one I used the 25% off coupon so for this one I'll just use um, get 25 rebate and proceed as if I was get by uh, registering uh, get hosting this website and using this coupon so you can choose your package, just confirm, baby one, which is a middle one with unlimited domains. I know I'll choose six months since I'm getting the 25% off. Username, Alex is here, security pin, whatever. Then just fill out your information. And here you can confirm that you did get 25% off and the total, and you create your account. So once that's all done with, you're going to receive um, an email from HostGator and they're going to give you basically all this information. So they confirm the, the plan, your control panel. So what you want to do is put this um, URL in your browser and enter your username and password. And these are the two name servers that if you go back to the domain registering uh, video, registration video, these are the two name servers you want to put. That way Namecheap knows to point the domains to the HostGator servers. And the reason why I like Namecheap is usually they do a really quick job on this. So you might have to wait a few minutes, but usually after an hour it's already done, which is really awesome. So yeah, make sure to go to Namecheap right now and put these in the domain name registrar forms. So just as a quick reminder, this is exactly how it looks on Namecheap. You go to Manage Domains, click on the domain you want, Domain Name Server Setup, 
and this, you specify custom DNS servers, you put the two here and save changes and that's it. You let Namecheap do the rest and for now we're going to go back to HostGator and actually get things moving. So going back to the email, you have the your control panel URL, you input that at the top, then you put your username and password, you log in. So you want to scroll down and right now you want to go to Fantastico Deluxe and install WordPress, but since this is your first domain um, that you're putting, I just want to mention something that for your future domains, what you'll want to do first is go to add-on domains. And here it's really easy. You'll just put, let's say, my second awesome website. I'll just put that for now. And then it does the rest. Like you can put a random password. This password really does not matter. And um, But I, I use the same as my main HostGator password just so it stays consistent. Uh, I guess I could just put it .com, so it's all checkmark, and that's it. Um, so yeah, once again, this is for add-on domains. This is after your first website, future websites. You'll want to put them here as add-on domains. That way, HostGator can uh, track them. Because here, once you have um, either it's your first domain or as an add-on domain, in Fantasi Fantastico Deluxe, you can start installing WordPress. So you just go here. So after clicking on WordPress, you're on the screen, so you can do a new installation and you can actually review which current ins WordPress installations you have done um, under. Uh, right now it's blurred because for privacy reasons, but eventually if you want to keep track to, of how many websites you have here or if you want to remove a WordPress installation, um, you can do it from this uh, menu. So right now we're going to click on new installation. On this screen you're going to see um, which domains you can install WordPress on. By default it's going to be the first domain you registered with when you um, bought your uh, HostGator account but if you have add-on domains you can just click on this and you can select it. Install and directory you just want to leave this blank. This basically means that it's going to be installed um, on the exact um, domain instead of like a subdomain so you don't have to do like myawesomewebsite.com slash blog but if you would want to do that then this is where you would put blog so that way myawesomewebsite.com could not be WordPress but the WordPress installation could only be on the blog part. Um, I've never done that on my website so are pure WordPress so I just put nothing here then you can put your username for your login information for WordPress your password and then add administrator nickname. This is basically, let's say you post on. This can be changed later if you want. Um, all these four tabs can be changed later. So admin nickname, put whatever you want. You email for people to contact you or if you lose your password. Your site name, so my awesome website. If your website's about um, acne, then just say Alexander's acne resource or whatever you want to put and description it's whatever you want to put as a description it doesn't really matter um, and if you're worried about SEO you, you probably want to put your keyword here in one of these but ultimately it's not that big of a factor I ranked websites where later on I noticed that I didn't even put my main keywords in the site name or description just because um, I didn't feel like the keywords sounded really cool in the site name or description so I didn't put it and those websites ranked anyways so no big deal so once you're done with that you just install WordPress and you're good to go